The Rev FB5000 competition flat bench is the best flat bench on the market. Rev Fitness has been knocking out of the park with their innovations with their rack systems, as well as all the weight benches they offer as well. Considering how many awesome features this bench has, combined with its low price point, there's a reason it's so widely recommended by the home gym community. This bench is specifically built to handle the heaviest weights possible and is rated at a whopping 1,000 pounds. Considering it's constructed with 3x3 inch 11 gauge steel, this isn't very surprising at all. This heavy duty competition style flat bench also has 7 gauge plates connecting everything together and is around 17 inches tall. It also meets the IPS specs for its height, length, and width. So if you want the highest durability bench for your competition bench press, there you go. The standard bench comes with a very grippy vinyl pad to prevent sliding when setting up for your bench press. It's also compatible with Rep's Thompson Fat Pad as well as their Wide Pad options, which if you want the widest, most stable bench platform possible, are highly recommended. The thick foam pad is very similar to Rogue's Competition Fat Pad, and while it might not be as nice as Rogue's, it gets the job done exceptionally well for a much lower price. The FB5000 is available in a bunch of different colors. You have a choice between metallic black, red, blue, matte black, and a clear coat finish. Every cool color you could possibly want. Overall though, if you want the absolute best flat bench on the market, the FB5000 is what I recommend above all others. Next up, we have the best commercial flat bench, and that's going to be the Rogue Monster Utility Bench 2.0. The Rogue Monster Utility Bench 2.0 has a decent amount of customization options. You can get multiple pad options, including the Thompson pad, as well as different heights, such as the standard and shorty options. The three post design allows you to get better leg drive to bench bigger weights, and the single post allows you to set your feet up in the optimal position for the most stability possible. The only real downside is that the bench can shake around when setting up with heavy dumbbells. Other than that, it's definitely solid as it's constructed with the same 3x3 11 gauge steel used to construct Rogue's monster racks, which are the highest end power racks that they currently offer. No matter how much weight you can move on the bench press, the Rogue Monster Utility Bench is going to be able to handle it easily. One issue I've heard some have is the vertical storage solution being a little bit wobbly with the thicker pad options. If you don't need to store your rack, this might not be a big deal, but for others, it might be something to pay attention to. The final problem I want to mention is that this bench is powder coated. And if you know anything about powder coats, they just don't long as last as other coats do. I have Rogue's TV2 Trap Bar, and the powder coating is chipped off all across the sleeves. All in all though, the Rogue Monster Utility Bench 2 2.0 is highly recommended even at the higher price point, especially if you want a high-end commercial grade flat bench for your home gym. Next up, we have the best value flat bench. The Rep FB4000 is very similar to their FB5000 model, but it's constructed with the lighter 14 gauge steel. It has the same height, wheels, wide pad option with a three post design, which makes this the perfect weight bench for those who don't plan on benching over 700 pounds anytime soon, but still want a high quality flat bench. The FB4000 also comes in multiple colors, those being metallic black, red, blue, and matte black. So other than not being compatible with the Thompson pad and the lower weight capacity, it's basically a more budget version of the FB5000. The single post design at the front of the bench allows you to find the best foot position for optimal leg drive. Rep also included an angled handle on the front post for easy maneuverability in your garage gym. It can be stored vertically like all of Rep's benches, making it super easy to store when not in use. Overall though, for the price, the FB4000 is a very solid weight bench and it's probably the best value on the market at this time. Sure, you can absolutely find benches cheaper than this, but the quality is going to drop significantly. Rogue Rogue's fold-up utility bench is by far the best folding workout bench on the market. While others are very low quality, this has the same high standards that Rogue is known for. Even though it folds up, it's constructed of a 2x3 inch 11 gauge steel and has the same solid construction that their standard flat utility bench offers. The neoprene pad has high density foam to provide a solid platform to bench on while also preventing slipping on like cheaper pads. The two most important features of a folding bench is of course how much space it saves while folding up and its actual durability. A lot of benches they might be able to fold up but they're not going to be very durable. And that's the entire point being able to store it in small spaces but also being able to lift on it safely without it breaking down on you the legs fold into a locked position using the orange pins plus this bench comes with the laser cut steel bench hanger that you can mount to your home gym walls for even more space considering it only extends around eight inches off of the hanger that's pretty incredible i must say all in all if you want the absolute best folding bench on the market rogues fold up utility bench is your best option the fb3000 from ret fitness is the best budget flat bench on the market not only is it super cheap at 149 dollars but it also has a 14 gauge steel construction with a weight capacity of 700 pounds. One of the awesome features about this bench is that the vinyl pad they use on it is comparable to others the rep offers. It's incredibly grippy so you can set it properly for any strength training you need to do. The groove rubber feet especially are a nice addition as some cheaper flat benches are going to be able to slide around pretty easily and they're very light anyway so they're going to slide no matter what. And this is especially important if you don't have some type of rubber flooring in your home gym. There are just two issues with the feet that you need to consider. The first is that because the feet aren't actually welded to the bench, you're going to have to bolt them together. This would be fine, but if you don't tighten them properly, they're going to loosen over time. This will cause the bench to wobble, rock around, and prevent it from being level altogether. Other than that, it's a great workout bench that can even be stored vertically with the included wall hanger. 
That way you can clear up as much space as possible when not in use. At this price point, there isn't anything quite as good that has all the features that the FP3000 has. And finally, we have the best weight bench on Amazon, which is the Amazon Basics Flat Weight Bench. I mentioned multiple times in the past that Amazon gym equipment just isn't the best quality. Sure, you can find some higher priced benches on there, but they don't really compare to other benches from Rogue, Ref, and others. So instead of recommending an overpriced bench that isn't worth the price tag, I'm gonna recommend the Amazon Basics Flat Weight Bench. It's a pretty solid piece of equipment considering it's under $60, and it even has free prime shipping. The weight capacity does seem quite low, but many users have reported using weights much heavier than this with no issue. This is definitely an ultra budget bench, but that's what people tend to be looking for on Amazon anyways. This is the absolute lowest that I would recommend you go on price though. Anything lower and you're going to be seriously skimping on quality and safety. One issue that people have had with this is that the hardware provided is very low quality and the bolts are simply too short to be trusted. So if you do plan on going super cheap on your bench, just go get some longer, higher quality bolts and you're going to upgrade this bench quite a bit. Overall though, if you want the absolute cheapest workout bench on the market that is still going to work for those not looking to lift super heavy weights, this will get it done. Which flat bench are you most interested in getting for your home gym? Let me know in the comment section below right now. And check out this playlist here for everything you need to know about weight benches. Until next time.